have found it. It's the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video of the Tuesday evening edition, and we are halfway through the month of November. It's been kind of an eventful month temperature-wise. Big, big swings. Of course, the first 10 days of the month were way warmer than average. These are the high temperatures so far in the month of November. 79 back on Saturday the 5th, only 38 and 37 for highs over the last three days. Of course, a, an enormous pattern change has transpired uh, during this uh, <clears throat> kind of third week of the uh, month, and we're expecting it to continue for probably about another week. All right, as expected, we had some wet snowflakes across the area for a time this afternoon. Left a little bit of a candy coating on some grassy surfaces in some spots. We even had some small accumulations that were measurable closer to Pittsburgh and certainly east of Pittsburgh. Over towards central PA, they did real well today. Over towards Altoona and State College, Williamsport, even as far west as Dubois, winter weather advisories have been out for several hours out across the central part of the state. Uh, in the meantime, just off to our north in the primary snow belts of northeast Ohio, northwest PA, and southwest New York, winter storm watches are out in anticipation of a pretty beefy lake effect event. Getting going tomorrow night into parts of Thursday, and then actually it'll continue beyond that. We're expecting another round of heavy, heavy lake effect snows in uh, parts of that region as we go into Friday and at least the first half of the weekend. In the meantime, hey, we're going to the moon. The uh, rocket launch uh, that was uh, postponed uh, due to hurricane activity back in September uh, will probably go on as scheduled tonight. This is at around 1 a.m.-ish, uh, taking off from the Space Coast in Florida and heading for the moon, an unmanned rocket, of course. Uh, the weather conditions, 90% favorable for a launch, not expecting a whole lot of rain around, maybe a few cumulus clouds. You don't want too many cumulus clouds. That would indicate a little too much instability and turbulence in the atmosphere, but that's there's only a 10% chance of no-go conditions, 90% chance that it is a go later on tonight, at least as of this recording at about 7.06. PM. All right, it's an uneventful, cloudy, just kind of a dank day again on Wednesday. Clouds will be pretty unproductive throughout the day. Maybe there's a sprinkle by the end of the day, but our next weather maker is this dashed black line off to our north, trough of low pressure that will pivot through and activate the lakes. And our best chance of some small accumulations, maybe a few slick surfaces, will be Thursday morning as a few of these bands will be oriented northwest to southeast like this, and then they'll actually retreat as we go into the afternoon, becoming more of a southwest flow kind of a setup, uh, and that will uh, bring some big totals, it looks like, to parts of uh, northwest PA, southwest New York, and then as we head towards the end of the week, it'll be a cold front on Friday that reinforces the cold for us as we go into the weekend. It'll reinforce the lake effect setup uh, in Erie, in Jamestown, in Buffalo, and uh, in far northern New York up towards Watertown and it will be blustery and cold back here across the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. As far as uh, tomorrow night into Thursday morning, uh, maybe there's up to an inch or so worth of snow uh, from uh, Kinsman, Johnston area, over towards Greenville, Sandy Lake, maybe down into eastern parts of Mercer as well. But, you know, up to three quarters of an inch or an inch or so uh, could be enough to cause a few slick spots uh, first thing Thursday morning for the rest of us mostly just some flurries, and then everything retreats off to the north as we go into the afternoon on Thursday. But again, if your travels will take you up 11, closer to I-90, up in Ashtabula County, you're going to find a whole lot more snow up there. All right, so probably a few feet worth of snow between now and Sunday up towards Buffalo. Uh, and for us, we're entrenched in this cold air mass as long as the pattern looks like this, with a big tr uh, ridge out here, big trough, uh, everywhere east, <coughs> pardon me, everywhere east of the Rockies. That's the pattern we're in and will be in through the upcoming weekend. But then finally, some changes as we head towards next week. Look at the pattern change by midweek. It becomes much more zonal, west to east. Actually, a little bit of a trough digs into the desert southwest, downstream of that trough, a little ridging taking place. And while we're not going to be busting out the shorts next week, we're going to say goodbye to highs in the lower 30s and probably we'll have a few days with highs in the middle and upper 40s, maybe even 50 or so, uh, right around Thanksgiving, with perhaps a cool down later during Thanksgiving weekend. All right, we are only 48 hours, actually less than 48 hours away from the debut of my 
annual winter forecast. Uh, we've, we're doing this a little bit later than we did in years past. Wanted to wait till after the midterm elections. Also, wanted to do it a little later so I could uh, kind of digest some of the latest model information that comes out during that second week of November uh, before the debut of the forecast. Uh, you can watch this live on TV on our mobile devices. We stream on all our devices, the Storm Tracker 21 app, the 21 News app, uh, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and again at 11 p.m. That'll be the short version. The long Weather Geeks version uh, we'll, we'll post online probably around 7.30, 7.45 or so uh, Thursday evening. And I'll also be posting a blog version of the winter forecast for those who need even more detail. That blog version, it's, it's written, just hasn't been published yet. That will be even geekier and more detailed, and there's going to be more hardcore meteorology in that blog version than even the long Weather Geeks video version, because if I got into the kind of detail I did in the blog version, in this video version, it would probably be a half an hour long. We're going to try to cap it at 15 or 20 minutes. Um, if you've watched my annual winter forecast before, the online versions, yeah, they're going to be long, longer than your typical Weather Geeks video, probably 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how my voice ho holds up and just how things how things go but you can look forward to all of that content thursday evening make sure you're following me on all the social media outlets not pictured here my youtube channel a lot of you are watching this video on youtube make sure you're following me there subscribe to my videos tap that notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video including the winter forecast on thursday we'll do a regular weather for weather geeks on wednesday looking forward to seeing you then in the meantime have a great rest of your tuesday night